Hello, today's video is about the difference between two common functions and vector operations, the dot product and the cross product. Obviously, the dot product and cross product work with vectors. This video will focus on three-dimensional vectors. The difference lies in the result. The dot product results in a scalar, which is a single real or complex number that scales a vector. The cross product results in a three-dimensional vector or vector with three elements. How are the dot product and cross product calculated? Dot product. Let's take two vectors, one with elements a, b, and c, and the other x, y, and z. The dot product is multiplying each pair of corresponding elements. With our dot product of the two vectors shown here, the result is a times x plus b times y plus c times z. A note, the dot product works with any two vectors of any length, as long as the length of vectors are the same. As an example, find the dot product of two vectors, one with the elements 1, 2, and 5, the other with the elements negative 2, 6, and 7. The dot product is calculated as 1 times negative 2 plus 2 times 6 plus 5 times 7 for the result of 45. For the cross product, you may want to think of the result as taking the determinant of a vector with the first row labeled i, j, and k, the second a, b, and c, and the third x, y, and z. This form is often used as a memorization device. Here, i, j, and k represent the elements of the resulting vector, with i being the first element, j the second, and k the third. The explicit formula is, the first element has b times z minus c times y. The second element has c times x minus a times z. And for the third element, a times y minus b times x. Note how the formula flows from the determinant form of the cross product. Example, find the cross product of two vectors, one with the elements 1, 2, and 5, the other with the elements negative 2, 6, and 7. As you can see, each of the elements of the cross product is calculated, and the result is the three-dimensional vector of negative 16, negative 17, and 10. If you need more time to study the calculation, please pause this video. Thank you for watching. You can catch my blog at edspy31415.blogspot.com. Have a great day.